right. Hi all, uh, it's Mike from Spran M UK in our new premises. Forgive the mess, it's all rough and tumble at the moment. We've been asked, or I've just precisely saw a video as somebody's bought our pressure cup for the HPLP systems and didn't know how to set it up. So it's just a quick video on how to set up the pressure cup HVLP, in this case with a grey coat uh, gun. So, first of all, let's get the gun. It's the Edge 2 Plus with the flex liner. So that's there, that's there. Okay. The box is as it comes from us. Okay, so we open up the box. What we have inside is we have the pressure cup. Take a dropping. Okay. We have the paint hose, nice green one. We have the air hose. This is actually a Graco flex hose. It's quite expensive, but only the best for our customers. We have the strap. We have the optional handle. We have two little rubber silicon grommets. Okay, so put that to one side. Okay. So first of all, as it comes from us, the cup. Okay. As, as the product comes from us, we just put a nut on there, just to hold the assembly together. So I'm taking it off, it's only hand tied. Okay, so throw the nut away, it's not needed. Okay, and literally just Katie wants to move a bit closer, or is she getting the full detail? So literally, I'm just screwing that down onto there. Okay. It already comes already set up like that. So the hose here, this is the takeoff hose, hose from the air supply that goes into the pressure cup. So the turbine air is coming from your turbine, your hose get, connects into that part. It's taking air supply and pressuring, pressurising into the cup. Now on here, we have what's called a check valve or a non-return valve. It should be, if it's this type, in my hands, it should be the short end here, like that. If for some reason you're not getting any air into the cup or system, it could be that the check valve, for some reason or other, is the other wrong way around. So the easiest way to do is to pinch that together, remove the hose, and then with the top unscrewed, you should be able to blow through it that way. If you can't blow, then the check valve is the wrong way around, so you just turn it around. Okay, slight noise in the background. Okay, so this is the uh, hose, as I said. We supply it with a quick release coupling that is universal and goes onto all, most, if not all, HVLP guns. So, quick release onto there. Now, let's just put that on like that. The paint hose, that literally just screws onto here. Okay, it's a cone connection, so really it just ni needs nipping up the spanner. It doesn't have to be too tight, because it is a cone on a cone connection, so that should be suffice. Okay, there's a little valve on there, on and off. Okay, so that's all good until we get to the gun end. Now, if you've got the flex, sorry, the, the gun that's designed for the flex liner, or the Edge 2 Plus gun, as you can see there, you're going to have a problem. That doesn't go in there. So what we developed, especially for it, really finds the packaging, because you just put it down and can't find where it is. Oh, there it is, hiding. Okay, what I developed, particularly for this, is unique to us, design it, have them made for us, is a fitting. So it's quite unique. Which allows you to 
pop that into there like that. Screws down and then you can screw on your paint fitting. Otherwise, if, if you haven't got this fitting, what Graco says is you have to unscrew this whole fitting out, which is actually locked tighted into the gun body, screw it out and then put in an optional fitting that Graco does that makes it into a male stem. But it then means that you can't very easily go back to the flex liner because you have to take it out, etc. Et so we've made that nice and simple with that fitting. Included in the kit with this, you get a couple of these little grommets here. Uh, also with that partner breast PUK005, which as I say is that fitting, you also get a couple of grommets. And that literally just connects over there. So the air that would normally come out of the gun and go into the flex liner to pressurize the flex liner via the little tube is now blocked off. So, uh, use a, bit, a couple of cable ties to tie those together. So nothing really changes in operation. What you'd have with your normal cup or a flex liner cup is air coming into the pot, pressurising the pot, sending the paint out. This is identical. You're doing exactly the same thing, except for you're pressurising this bigger cup, the paint is still going to get, you turn the valve on, up to the gun, and out. Uh, there is no adjustment on the cup itself because it's non regulatory, non regulator version. A couple of uh, things to note on the cup itself we have here this little valve which you unscrew and it will release the pressure in the cup, and there that is a safety blow off valve. So, always when using it, because you don't want these things popping. Like that. So always turn off the turbine, pull the trigger, release the air in the cup before you undo the cup. Okay, that's just a little safety feature, you don't want it shooting across the room. We've also got on here, I won't bother opening it up at this stage, but we've got the, uh, the shoulder strap that can fit onto there. If you don't like the shoulder strap and you want to carry it in your hand, then you've not got the optional handle, so you just unscrew that out and put that in its place. The idea being, with the handle version, you'd use it one hand like that. Obviously, with the shoulder strap, it frees up your uh, other hand. Okay, um, not, not a lot else I can say on that, but it should be a helpful guide for you. Um, what you can do generally with the flex liner cups, or your normal cup, you can do with this. It's just the advantage of more paint in there, less uh, frequency of changing the paint out. Okay, hope that helps. Cheers. Bye.